Hey everybody, this is Leroy. I'm back for another week of Vet School. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm back for another week. Um, the class I'm going to talk about this week is uh, Surgical Skills Lab. Uh, Surgical Skills Lab is a wonderful course um, in which we learn the basic skills of being a surgeon, which is like, listen to that, I'm learning the basic skills um, of being a surgeon, um, hand ties, suture patterns, um, you know, how to maintain um, a sterile field, scrubbing in, um, things like that. So, um, you know, and that's getting, that's, this course is to prepare me uh, for next term um, in January, where I'll be in junior surgery uh, lab, um, so you know it's uh, it's an exciting time. Um, as to my actual skills in the course, um, they're bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got like two left thumbs or something. Um, you know, just uh, so it's been a struggle. You know, um, two weeks in, um, it's been a struggle, but. Um, I'm ahead of the ball game. Uh, I'm talking to my professor. We set up a meeting, and uh, we're gonna go over um, the skills I'm not proficient in, uh, and that's really uh, important because uh, this is a mastery course. So even if um, you do well on the written exam, if you're not proficient um, in the surgical skills, the actual hands-on, um, they're not gonna pass you. You know that's not gonna happen. So. Um, you know, uh, I gotta get good, and um, so you know, you, you practice, you practice, and then you practice some more. Um, one of the things I have to uh, retrain myself is um, how to hold uh, the handle. So this isn't; these aren't scissors, but um, they're needle holders. But the way you hold these guys um, is with uh, your ring finger and your your thumb, like so, and then your pointer finger goes on the top like this. This is the correct way to hold it, like this, you know, thumb, ring, ring finger, thumb, yeah, um, not like this, which is, um, which is how I've been holding scissors or any handles like these, um, with my pointer, <laughs> um, and my thumb, like this, this is bad, um, and apparently when you hold things, uh, incorrectly, uh, in surgery lab, you get um, you get smacked. You know, they'll smack your hand real quick. So uh, I've been smacked, and I've been kicked. Yeah, both. <laughs> I've been bad. So uh, you know, just working at these skills, um, getting better at them. Uh, as the term progresses, I'll keep you guys abreast on um, how I've become hopefully better. Well, really, I can't get any worse. Really, really, I, I can't get any worse. So. Um, uh, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on, um, surgical, um, on my surgical skills. Alright, um, now I want to talk to you guys about an incident that happened, um, this week, uh, this past week, um, uh, our house got broken into, um, somebody got like a butter knife and, uh, they kind of like popped our lock open. Um, and, uh, they came to our house and, uh, they took our stuff, just... Just came through, um, but it could have been a lot worse. Um, I still have my laptop. Uh, you know, they got two cell phones um, and cash, and a, a really nice pair of flip flops. So um, you know, things happen. Um, it could have been avoided if our landlord was um, progressive. And getting um, the locks fixed when we told her that the locks were um, weren't adequate. Um, it's a big coincidence that um, when our locks were down, somebody just knew, just just knew that hey, I can pop this lock open, and uh, they did. Very fishy. Uh, I think that whoever did it was uh, watching our, our home. Um, so let me just explain. Um, so I live in like a duplex. So I live on one side. Me and Eric lives on one side, and uh, we have a lady who lives on the other side. And then we have um, a tenant that lives um, in front of us um, on the same piece of property owned by like, the same family. And um, he, 
or she, you know, because whoever, um, they picked a time in which nobody was in um, uh, in any of the homes. They just came through and they were like, oh, nobody's here. Let me pop this lock real quick, go through, took all they could, um, and then they bounced. Um, so, yeah, that was, um, it was kind of a pain, you know. Um, but we fortified our house. We got um, the locks fixed after the event um but uh you know what can you do so i'll just uh rolling with the punches there um but yeah so this is kind of like um it's actually our second case um living in this area uh a second term eric got um his shirts and his underwear taken um off the um <laughs> off the line he was hanging them up to uh to dry and somebody just came by one night and uh, and took him. Um, yeah, so he took somebody's underwear. That's kind of gross. That's really gross. Um, but uh, um, to the actual um, event that happened, we kind of think it was uh, our next door neighbor. He's kind of like a, a drug addict, um, and things like that. And he kind of he actually looks like bubbles off of um, the wire. Uh, and The Wire is like a show off of uh, HBO. It's like a, a police drama. Very good drama. Uh, good TV, good show, um, good actors. Check it out. But uh, he definitely looks like Bubbles from um, from The Wire. Yeah. Um, and me and Eric, we both kind of think that it was probably him. But uh, the burden of truth, um, <laughs> we don't have it. So we just think it was him. Could have been anybody. Uh, we did have some, some, some people walking through. Um, but, you know, just this stuff, that whole kind of, um, how things played out, you know, our locks aren't really locking right, um, whoever it was knew that nobody, he picked a time that nobody was in either of the three homes, so just very, very, um, very, it was, it was the, the planning was, was too perfect, um, but, you know, we, we, we're locked up now, so, um, Hopefully that'll that'll never ever 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 happen again because um, I don't know if I do if I, I lost my laptop I need this for sure uh, so um, I'm going on a, a hash um, today um, hopefully I'll, I'm up to the uh, challenge of a hash and remember um, hash is not a drug um, but I explained that last week so if you were watching paying attention. Uh, you know what a hash is. That is the the end of my show. Um, I will see you guys next week. Who the fuck is this? Page of me at five forty six in the morning. Crack of dawning. Now I'm yawning. Wipe the cold out my eyes. Who's this page of me and why? It's my nigga Pop from the barber shop. Told me he was in the gambling spot and heard the intricate plot. A niggas wanna stick me like fly paper neighbor. Slow down, love, please chill, drop the caper. Remember them niggas from the hill up in Brownville that you rode dice with? Who was the got dice with? Yeah, my nigga fame up in Prospect. Nah, them my niggas, nah, love wouldn't.